Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today to do a comparison video between Miller and Lincoln. So, today I got the Synchro Wave 212 and the Square Wave 205. So, put them side by side. So, in this video, I'm going to go over their features, their functions, um, obviously, the difference in size, what they look like, how they feel, how much they weigh, duty cycles, and then I'm also going to TIG weld aluminum with them here at the end of this video. So, stay, stay tuned for that. We'll try and get it going, but just right off the rip here, you can see the difference physical size compared, so this is the 212, and this is the 205, so weight wise, very light, weight wise on this one, a little, a little bit heavier, a little bit heavier, um, you need two hands on this, you can do this one hand, um, both have access panel doors on opposite sides of one another, but, so, put your foot pedal in here, you can put your foot pedal in here, this one though, has a spool gun option, so you can put your spool gun in there as well. Um, so that's kind of a nice feature. Also, the sinker wave has a water cooler option that you can put a water cooler on or add it on. It is a package, it plugs into the back, and then that way you can get a cool main 1.3 and have a water cooler torch. But it comes with an air cooled torch, they both come with air cooled torches, they both come with foot pedals, they both come with stinger, ground, um, everything you need to do to stick and take weld. Um, so the spool gun and the water cooler are extra options. This one, no water cooler option, uh, not a big deal, and no spool gun option. But we see a lot of people that want to use these, and they want to TIG weld aluminum, and they want to have the capability of stick welding. So both of them do that. Uh, let's bump around to the front here. Both 110, 220. Uh, one big difference in the duty cycle. So on 220, this is 100% duty cycle at 130 amps. And this one has 100% duty cycle at 120 amps on 220. So a little bit lower amperage, or duty cycle I should say, on 220 than the square wave 205. But you can see physical size, very big difference in height, weight, length. So if you're in a shop that's you need compact or you need portability, I mean that one right there makes sense because it is smaller. Um, but you know, they both have their very good features and functions. So on the 205, we'll go to the process here. We'll go to process on this one. So basically AC TIG, DC TIG, DC stick, AC stick. And then uh, over here on the 212, we got AC TIG high freak start, DC TIG high freak start, and then we go into lift arc. This has lift arc capabilities as well. Um, it recognizes that we have a foot pedal plugged in. Then you got DC stick and then you always have a MIG spool gun. So, and you guys, I got other videos out there that show you how to hook the spool gun up, and then I did videos on the 205 on welding output, you know, 6010. Both will run 6010, so we can turn that on, go to the setup, you can change your dig, you can change your hot start, go back to process, then we'll go home, 92 amps. Basically, it's just, it's gonna give us that process there. So we're gonna go back, we'll put it into AC TIG, and then, you can change your AC wave just like this one. So we go in the AC TIG over here. We can change our AC frequency and our balance. Same over here, change our balance and our frequency. So very similar on that. This one, you tell it what size tungsten. Um, this one, you just set it and then it, it's all set up there for you. You just tell it the amperage and then on the inside, there's a chart basically and it tells you what amperage you should change tungsten sizes at. This one though, you can you know, you have to change it manually. So we'll go into that, we'll go home. And obviously I can change my amperage. Now I got it plugged in here. So we're at 120 amps. Let's just see where we're at. So 120 hertz, 75. Let's see what we're at on this here. 75, 120 hertz. So we're gonna run them at the same. Just to put apples to apples, not that we're, um, and you got a back button to go back to your amperage screen. But then this one also has, we go home, and we go auto set, we tell it TIG, we tell it aluminum, we tell it our thickness of material, so we'll just say eighth inch, and then we tell it our joint configuration, we're just going to stick with lap right now, tungsten size, 332nd, gives us this, you hit next, next, tells us what to set our argon at, everything to do, and then it gives us 135 amps. Now this one, while it doesn't have the auto set feature, right, doesn't, you just can't toggle through, but what it does have is auto post flow, and then it also has auto balance. So you tell it 
basically you just want it on auto. It's going to pick the best parameters. So you don't tell it what material you're running. You don't tell it all that. It just it just automatically does it when you when you adjust your amperage. So if you're running 120 amps and you have it on auto, it's going to pick the best balance that you need to run it. But I like to be particular and just choose my balance in that. Um, we're going to back this down to 120 just to be comparing apples to apples and run them. Um, both have push buttons. So this is a push button, that's a push button to select stuff. Both got home process, home, and then this obviously has auto send, this one has a back button. A little different. Um, and then you know, just TIG torches plugged in. Uh, it's, they both have through the port gas dins connections, so the gas flows through the machine, through the torch, and then to your well. Both have good ground connections, both have 12 and a half foot uh, TIG, or TIG torches. Uh, both came with gas lenses and big large diameter gas bodies and so it, they're very very comparable in what the products that they come with but just the physical size and what they can do output wise. Like I said this one's got 10 more amps at 100% duty cycle than this one's well. But we're not going to knock them just yet. Let's see how they weld first and we'll jump into this. Um, turn my gas on here. So we're going to weld with the Lincoln first. I got both foot pedals hooked up, so uh, I got both grounds hooked up. Make sure I grab the right tape torch. Just to give these both a try, um, unbiased opinion here. I'm going to come over here so you can grab it. So, like I said, we're on the 205 square wave right now. Setting 75 on the cleaning action and 120 hertz on the AC frequency. Some of my favorite settings gives you a nice round bead, good appearance on the uh, stacking of the diamonds, as you guys like to call them. I think it works really, really well. So let's give the Miller a shot here. Alright, so we're ready to go here. Got my Miller torch. Started out okay. If you guys have ever ran a, the older version, it runs similar to that, or it runs really similar to the 220 as well, the ACDC machine. Um, I will tell you though, it is a little bit noticeably softer arc than the Square Wave 205, and that meaning like it's not as crisp or not as uh, I guess as pungent as like the 205 runs. It kind of comes into a nice softer arc, and then it starts so well. I mean, it, it ran just fine. It just, you notice the audible change in noise between the two running side by side. So, um, and obviously that fan kicked on. It's really, really loud. So you notice the 205 fan just runs nonstop, but it's pretty, you can talk over. It's pretty low. But when that 212 kicks on, it's, it's really loud. So just be aware of that. You think it's not going to blow up. It's just kicking on the fan to cool the machine down. Um, TIG torches are very similar. I can't, maybe really at the end of the day, it's a, it's a 17 series TIG torch. A uh, little bit more rigid grip on this one, a little bit more grippy over here. I mean, God, same consumables on the front end, same gas lenses on the front, same back caps. So really, it just kind of boils down to preference, right? Which one do you like better? Um, I, will I will show you this too, just to, to some people it makes a big deal. But to me, I really don't, it doesn't bother me. There's the Miller foot pedal. 
and there's the Lincoln propel. So, as you can see, plastic construction, all steel construction. It, does one feel better than the other? Not, not necessarily. Um, they both react about the same reaction time. Just to give you guys a good comparison of what each one looks like. Um, very simple, but they each hold up well. I can't say that we get too many back that are broke um, on either one of them. Uh, they're both pretty simple on the inside if you take them apart. But just to show you the comparison, this one's way lighter, easier to kick around, and this one's got some weight to it. So just to show you guys that. Both 25 foot cords though, so you don't have to worry about you can have plenty of room to pump around your shop. Um, but yeah, all in all, both of them run really well. I will say though a noticeable difference on the arc start on the square wave. Um, I think it's a little bit better, I like a little bit more crisp, but the softer start is easier to flow into your aluminum. So but if you guys got any questions, comments, leave them down below. Check them out. We'll have them posted at bakersguys.com. They're both available. We'll link all the pricing down below. And thanks again. Stay tuned for some more.